This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how Google researchers have actually taught a robotic arm to play table tennis. So I came upon this particular uh, site. Uh, here it talks about I seem to real reinforcement learning of robotic policies in tight human robot interaction loops. Let's look at what it is and how they have taught a robotic arm to play table tennis. Okay. So here are some videos of the robot playing. Okay. So high speed dynamic table tennis with deep reinforcement learning. Okay. So here you can see the robotic arm which is playing against a human. Okay. So these are different players and uh, you know the robot performs at different abilities. Okay. So how do you actually teach a robot to perform a task? right you use reinforcement learning so one of the way to do reinforcement learning is you can actually simulate okay you can simulate the behavior of the robot in an environment okay so you can teach a robot by actually creating a simulated environment for table tennis by simulating a human player how a human player would play and how the robot has to respond in a simulation environment and then you can transfer the policies learnt in a simulation environment into the robot. Okay. But what is the uh, tough thing over there? The problem is that accurately simulating human behavior is an open problem. Okay. So prior work in simulation to real transfer of robotic policies typically do not involve any human robot interaction because accurately simulating human behavior is a problem. Okay. But in simulation, you can, uh, you know, uh, train policies, uh, it enables safe exploration and large scale data collection at low cost, okay, quickly at low cost. So how do you actually now uh, gather examples of human interacting with the physical robot and use that behavior in simulation, okay. So this is actually a chicken and egg problem. So how to gather examples of human interacting with a physical robot so as to model human behavior in simulation without already having a robot that is able to interact with a human. Okay. So for this, they have proposed something called as iterative sim to real. So the idea over here is that, so the iterative uh, sim to real, uh, actually it bootstraps from a simple model of human behavior, right? So that is a method over here. So there is from the human behavior, a simple bootstrap data is collected on which the human behavior model is done. And this is given as an input to the simulation. Okay. In the simulation, certain policies are being uh, learned by the robot. And once this convergence happens, this is actually again fed into the physical robot. Okay. And this process is repeated in an iterative manner. Through this process, the robot learns through iterations to perform better. So that is the idea over here. Okay. So IS2R or iterative sim to real uh, bootstraps from a simple model of human behavior and alternates between training in simulation and deploying in the real world. In each iteration, both the human behavior model and the policy are refined. So what they did is that they evaluated this method on a real world robotic table tennis setting where the objective of the robot is to play cooperatively with the human player for as long as possible. Okay. So table tennis is high speed. It's a dynamic task. It requires precision. It also requires two players to react quickly to each other's moves. So this is actually challenging test bed for research on human robot interaction. What they are saying is that this industrial robotic arm is able to cooperatively play table tennis with human players achieving rallies of 22 successive hits on average and 150 at best if for 80 percent of players rally lengths are 70 percent to 175 percent longer compared to sim to real plus fine tuning baseline okay so that is what it is about and here are videos of uh, you know how the data collection is done okay so initial data collection human throws ball at an unresponsive robot Second is training in simulation with bootstrapped model and deployment in real world. So policy is trained in simulation via reinforcement learning using a human behavior model trained using this initial ball throws. But when it is deployed, uh, it is not particularly strong since there is a simulation to real gap. Okay. Now you can fine tune 
in real world with reinforcement learning this improves performance robot still struggles to uh, you know carry out long rally okay in this stage but in this stage you still have lot more data now which can be used to interactively update the human behavior models for further training in simulation now after retraining and further data collection this step is repeated until human behavior model and robot policy converge and here you can see that the robot is now improved and it is able to better play a rally okay so that is what is this actually it is explaining this uh, steps over here okay so here are some videos of you know 147 hit rally with this uh, robot with the player here is an 82 hit rally okay with a different player right so what they are saying is that uh, this particular uh, model okay or this particular method has significant longer rally than some baseline methods and it is also able to generalize to new players okay for example in this case uh, this is a new player who was not in the training of the policy okay and still this particular uh, robot uh, a car is able to play with the user over here okay they have also explained this entire thing what i have explained in another video which you can also check out so this is an interesting concept i think this concept can also be extended to other games uh, you know where a human is playing with the robot right uh, to actually this concept of iterative updating of uh, the reinforcement learning model by you know iteratively improving the human behavior model and training in simulation and then uh, deploying it for real uh, fi world fine tuning right i like this idea over here which is presented and uh, seems to be quite promising okay so this is about uh, you know how a robotic arm was trained industrial robotic arm was trained to play table tennis uh, using a mix of simulation and real world uh, reinforcement learning okay using deep reinforcement learning i hope this short video uh, is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning